We're going to be here for the next two hours live as we are every Sunday. Then Counterthink with Mike Adams, hard-hitting investigative journalist. Full hour of that right after we end at 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. Boy, do we have some amazing news and some entertaining news to cover as well. I'm going to try to be a good boy here today because we've already spent two days here on air with one of the biggest news stories, well, the biggest news story in the country on Thursday that was admitted. And on Tuesday, it was still one of the top five stories. You wouldn't think China threatened to nuke us or attack our ships in the South China Sea is a big deal. No, it's, it's the entire corporate media committing political and journalistic suicide in front of everybody, saying that we doctored a tape of Jim Acosta in front of God and country and the whole world, shoving the intern's hand down and jerking the mic away. All we did was zoom it in, and so then every channel in the country basically decided to say we doctored it. Your radio listener, we're showing side by side. And, of course, the president came out on Friday and said he looked at our tape and the other tape and nothing's doctored, we zoomed it in. That's all we did was zoom it in, which is not doctoring, it is clarifying it, really. But this is bigger than just Jim Acosta or InfoWars or this, or this petty issue. It's that Stephen Colbert and all the other late-night comics got the exact same script and in the exact same words said the exact same thing. Jimmy Kimball, you name it. Now, it doesn't matter to them that more than 20 top professors and experts in digital editing have come out and said, no, they did not doctor the video. They blew it up. And when they uploaded it, it dropped a few frames, which the eye can't even see, which is normal. Interlacing, skip frames, different systems. You can take an HD video and try to upload it, and sometimes it skips frames. But when you're using cruddy video, it happens. But the point is, is that they show the video, like the Emperor's New Clothes, like 1984, 2 plus 2 equals whatever they say. They show the video on all these TV shows and then say, look at the editing. And then they show the exact same video. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys to do this, please. There's a bunch of these, and I meant to send it to you. Um, I sent one to Paul, so I'll, I'll pull it up for my text there. Started noticing a new trend yesterday because it's the anatomy of their next level line. They were saying Jones released totally doctored footage. Acosta didn't even touch her. And we're not going to show you the video. It's so horrible. Dallas Morning News, LA Times, New York Times. And I'm looking where there's articles in the digital age and no video. Imagine a Time Life books or you're at the sh grocery store. You know, you're checking out. They've got the Grand Canyon in beautiful photos. And you, you buy it. And there's no photos of the Grand Canyon in sight. These are articles about our hoax video. So the new thing was the public wasn't buying it Thursday and Friday to say that it was a hoax video because people watched it and said that's the same video. They'll go, look, side by side, clearly fake. It's exactly the same. Paul's a little gray because he downloaded and re-uploaded it again. Everybody knows about generations and video. But it was that now the new thing is they don't show the video. There it is. It reads like satire. Trump's press secretary is lying to us about the press, and that we cannot accept. She must be fired. She must be fired. That's the talking point. And then you, they hear about the fake video where I, where we say that you know he chopped her head off or whatever. None of that is in there. They don't show you the video like we're doing over and over again. So this is next level deception, folks, where they, they go, just trust us. It's doctored. But we're, we're not going to show it to you for your own best interest. Demonized, most attacked person in the world after Donald John Trump. And why is that? Well, it's because I'm promoting free countries. I'm promoting free market. I'm promoting Americana. And I predicted accurately pretty much everything that's come true the last 20 years. And the establishment is scared to death that you're paying attention. They're scared to death that you're listening. They're scared to death that humanity's choosing free will and their own destiny. And that's, that's where we are. Let me just read to you a few of the headlines, then I'll plunge right into it. I have a whole stack here. Florida deja vu. As state election 
hit by chaos fraud accusations. That's Yahoo News. Now, this is Broward County that's had the same elections head for something like 30 years, and every election in Florida that's close, she then holds up that election and then finds ballots to make the Democrat win. And she's been found in court to have been engaged in direct election stealing twice and another four or five times evidence of, quote, massive incompetence. I'm going to explain that again. They don't find 18 wheelers and big trucks full of ballots for people that won by big margins. If a Democrat has lost by a small margin, she always says, hold the horses. And even a day after state law says you can't bring new ballots in, she brings in big old juicy trucks of them and people say, where'd they come from? And she says, I'm not saying. Then they have election judges come in and watch them count them. And large portions of them are thrown out ballots or ballots that had just been punched out. Now, that's not me saying that. That's the Miami newspapers. And again, you've got how many counties in Florida? But it's Broward County where the police stand down for a mass shooting. It's Broward County that Al Gore tries to steal in 19 in 2000. It, it's, it's over and over and over again. It's every time. And then we point this out, and they say we're crazy. So let's, let's hit that first, and I'll get into all the other news. Here it is. Florida deja vu as state election hit by chaos, fraud accusations, and every time it's Broward County. And they've sent in state investigators and others. They, the fact there's video we'll play later. Congressman Matt Gates went to it from Florida, and they had the police grab him because there's new trucks pulling up a day after they can't take new ones in, and they're just like, we're going to arrest you, get out of here, don't worry about it, we're going to take these in here and count them. And he's like, well, it violates the law. We don't care. That video is on Infowars.com and Newswars.com. So it's, it, but, but every time there's a mountain of evidence, just call it a conspiracy theory. Florida election recount underway. Tensions rise. Trump tweets he's watching Florida closely. People trying to steal elections. The media calls that a conspiracy theory. And it goes on from there. Democrat lawyers object to non-citizen Florida ballot being thrown out. Lawyers for Gillum, Nelson, pushing for illegals to vote in U.S. election. They're publicly calling for it, and then people are being honest when they voted because they thought they were supposed to vote or they were, weren't citizens, and they're finding all these ballots that say, I'm not a citizen, and they're like, doesn't matter, they're still good. Yes, you heard me right. That's a Zero Hedge article with links to local news with the Democrats admitting, well, of course we let non-citizens vote. Whoops. This is the Miami Herald. Whoops, there it is. Whoops, there it is. Brenda Snipes, the only woman that seems to get to really count the votes and decide who wins in Broward County. Office mixed bad provisional ballots with good ones, but they said they're going to let them go through. Oh, and guess what? The provisional ballots happen to be for Democrats. It's just magic. Some ballots showed up. We don't know where they came from. And they're, they're not real ballots, but sorry, that's just what a watcher caught, so they admitted, yeah, those, those, those weren't real people, but nothing you can do about it. We the bosses. We the bosses. But again, that's a conspiracy theory. You know, that's the Miami Herald saying that. And they're just saying it's accidental, but the votes still count. Yes, it adds fire that she's incompetent. Yeah, she's incompetent like a fox, sure. Oh, Brian Kemp pushes Stacey Abrams to concede, but she won't give up either in Georgia and is announcing that there's a recount and a new election, even though there isn't. That's right. But it doesn't matter if it's not true. She's a Democrat. It's okay. Pelosi dismisses Trump's charges of fraud in Florida recount. Oh, yes. There's no fraud. GOP representative-elect Crenshaw makes an appearance on SNL. We'll get to that. Florida orders recount in Senate governor races. And, of course, you've got uh, Gillum, who conceded now, saying he's not conceding because there's all those magic ballots coming back. There's the article. Stacey Abrams allegedly attempts to run illegal ads in support of a non-existent gubernatorial runoff. It's not happening, but why not just say it?
Now, that's just some of what I've got there. And I've got all the footage of Matt Gates saying, hey, it's past midnight. It's a day later. You can't be bringing new trucks in. Where are they from? Where? What are these balusters? Like, shut up. Police are like, it's Brown County, brother. We vote in Florida. Doesn't matter. The whole state votes against somebody 100%. We'll find 25 million votes. So just get on out of here. That's what this has come down to. That's how stupid they think you are. I'm going to play all that coming up later. But that's the stack of news that I wanted to get to first. Not Infowars.com, not Newswars.com, not even though those are really respected, trusted names. That's why the enemy attacks them and lies about us all the time, says we're fake news. That's Miami Herald. That's, that's all of it right there. That's what's going on. And, and videos of just truck after truck after truck after truck just a, arriving out of nowhere. And surprise, surprise, they do a recount, and they're almost all Democrats. And so the Democrats are going to win the governorship that they lost, and they're going to win the Senate seat they lost. They're going to win all the other races they lost that were close because Broward County is a magic genie. And Ms. Snipes, why, she has no idea what's going on, but everything's okay. And that's what Roger Stone, we should get Roger on today. I, I didn't want any guests, but he's probably calling to get him on. He lives in Broward County. He said, listen, they almost always show elections in Broward. And any close races, they always keep them open. I can't believe they've conceded. And I said, it's because they know we're watching, Roger. Watch, I bet a day or two later they claim something. And sure as, because they knew they were being watched because they're Broward County. I mean, this is like the most corrupt county in the galaxy for election fraud and everything else for that matter. And now it happened. Now it happened, ladies and gentlemen. So that's all coming up uh, next segment. Now, the other news obviously uh, deals with geopolitical issues. And it also deals with the open borders. It also deals with Trump in France for the World War I memorial and Macron openly declaring war on nation states. This is so key. This is so huge. I'm going to cover it at the bottom of the hour because this is world government out in the open. Remember all those years we'd say they want to get rid of nation states and the EU wants its own army in case countries try to leave? Macron has now announced, and so has the German dictator. She's been, in, she's been unelected, but she's still in there for parliamentary manipulation, just like Juncker heads up the unelected EU. They're all announcing that we need an EU army to stop America. No, it's to stop nation states trying to pull out. So we're going to look at nation states versus globalism and the fact that they're openly declaring war on it now. Former chief advisor of the president, he lives in Broward County, has family that works in the county, and he's, he's been on the ground all day, so he'll be popping in. That is coming up. Just an illustration of incredible fraud going on. They admit they've been counting ballots that no one voted on. They admit they're all punched for Democrats. They admit that they've passed the date to have magic 18-wheelers show up and uh, bring it all in, so that's coming up. It's just crazy. But their answer is conspiracy theory. Just, just say conspiracy theory. If you don't like what's going on, just say the magic word or the magic words, magic term, conspiracy theory. But let me get to this first because I've got coming up, I've got Macron attacking Trump for saying a nation state even exists. We always told you the globalists wanted to get rid of nation states. What are they going to replace it with? What's been set up? But remember, that wasn't the case. It was a conspiracy theory. Now they admit that's their plan. Well, what is the plan? Why do they want InfoWars shut down? Because we're exposing the globalist plan and we're offering our own plan. That's what they're scared of. So that's all coming up in the last segment of this hour. But I'm going to get to this right now. I'm going to go ahead and go to this information right now. When I see this footage and I see the exact same talking points, the exact same script on every news channel and every late night show and almost every newspaper, it scares me. Not that I'm under attack, but that they've gotten corporate media to lie at such a level and to be so disciplined to work in unison to put hoaxes out, it makes my head spin. 
and that's what I want to break down here tonight is that corporate mainstream media ended up losing the 2016 election. And instead of realizing, hey, people are sick of us lying, they decided to lie that much more intensely and to then work in concert together like a team of horses all hooked up together to then deceive people, they think, if they're all acting in unison, putting out a lie, let's say you know, the sky's black at high noon instead of it being blue or that ducks don't quack or whatever. If they all say two plus two equals a thousand or they all say gravity is suspended, does that make it so? And that's really where we've gone and, 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 and what we're up to. So I get up Thursday, and again, this is bigger than just the story. It, it goes to the mind control, the brainwashing, all of it. And they're, they're saying on the news, we doctored a video. So I go look at it, and I'm like, well, that's Acosta pushing that in term and grabbing the mic away when he wouldn't shut up. He already asked two questions. He was on his third. I went, well, Watson blew it up, but it's it's the same video. We just zoomed in. But they know that. They're just doing it to change the subject and then say that the press secretary is lying and that she should be fired on every channel. That's the talking point. You're about to see this. It's mind-boggling. And it notice in all these articles, like the one I just showed you from the Dallas Morning News, they don't show the so-called doctored video. They don't show the doctor video on the Dallas Morning News. Because it's not a doctor video. They just say, Jones put out a doctor video, Acosta didn't touch her. When he did. Now, others like Colbert and, and others, they show the video, but then say it's doctored when it's not. I mean, they're just seeing what you'll go along with at this point. But it, it, it does freak me out because thousands of articles, hundreds of TV stations, it's everywhere are saying we put out fake video and the president came out and said we didn't because we didn't and anybody can see that he pushes her and grabs the mic away. And then I've got, document cam shot please, Motherboard is Vice, that's HBO, they hate me, but they said no, we looked at it and nothing's been doctored. All they did was zoom in. Yeah, we just zoomed in on so you can see the action. Uh, Red State had forensic people look at it and all these other people, but it doesn't matter. Any idiot can look at this and see that it's just blown up video to show what happened up close. Let's go to this uh, piece here, and then we'll come back with Paul Watson's response to this. He's the one that got the blame of it. Zooming in is not doctoring a video, but lying and saying a doctored video is doctored is doctoring the truth. Here it is. News isn't hiding anymore. After giving plenty of time to his repeated question, President Trump moved on to the next reporter. But CNN's Jim Acosta refused to give up the mic. He can clearly be seen physically resisting the White House intern from doing her job. And when Sarah Huckabee Sanders tweeted a video from InfoWars, which clarified this, the mainstream fake news began repeating their new programmed assignment, doctored video. Sarah Huckabee Sanders tweeted, uh, she tweeted a doctored video clip that they believe is from InfoWars, which is a website for the mentally unbalanced, in which they sped up Jim Acosta's hand movement to make it look more violent, and the part where he says, pardon me, ma'am, they cut the audio out. They altered this video, and we'll take a look here, and you see, like, they it sped up his hand, and the White House press secretary tweeted this video. She intentionally disseminated doctored video footage to discredit a reputable journalist. She's the White House press secretary. She should be fired for that. She included this video. The intern reaches for the mic, and there he goes, and <laughs> That is terrible. Yeah. Or it would be if it weren't fake news. Because Sarah Sanders tweeted a doctored video. And where did the White House get that doctored video? It appears to have originated with the far-right conspiracy site InfoWars. The fact that the White House press secretary is promoting this doctored video is reprehensible and grounds for dismissal. But one only needs a few minutes of critical thinking to discern the truth. 
Zooming in does not make a doctored video. All that was, nobody manipulated it. Give me a break. See, that's just dishonest reporting. All that is is a close-up. See, that's just, that is just dishonest reporting. I watched that. I heard that last night. They made it close-up. They showed it close-up. And he was not nice to that young woman. I don't hold him for that because it wasn't overly... All right, we're going to come back. With the radio, decried President Trump for saying he believed America existed and he was a nationalist. And they called that white supremacist and said, decry your white nationalist stuff, which means something totally different. They have Islamic nationalists, they have communist nationalists, they have all these different systems like North Korea. Nationalist just means you believe in your country. And all countries are not created equal. That's coming up. But I've got to spend time here today Pulling back and just looking at what has been one of the top stories the last four days it was the biggest story Thursday, one of the top stories Friday and Saturday and today. Every late night show, I can't even keep track of it, with the exact same statement. Sarah Huckabee Standards must be fired. Jim Acosta of CNN, fake news, did not touch anybody. Alex Jones faked it. And we're all there watching the live footage. Paul Watson just blows it up so you can see when Acosta said he didn't touch her, Paul goes, look, he clearly touches her here. And so what they do is because they know they're so discredited is they know that they're just disruptors. They know that they are nothing more than disruptors. Just like Trump says, they don't want to fix the country. They want to disrupt it. They don't want to have a press conference. They want to ask three aggressive questions and then not shut up. That's all they've got. It's the only ball game they have. It's what their whole world orbits. CNN is the leader in fake news. They have to pay to be on at hotels and to pay to be on at airports. And so all they can do is get into a press briefing, cause a big scene, make a huge issue out of it, and then when Acosta gets thrown out after two years of this crap, what does CNN say? Document cam shot, please. CNN gearing up to sue over Jim Acosta's suspension. White House press pass. We got White House press passes a year and a half ago. Had them for a month. Didn't even think they were worth it to sit there all day unless you're going to make a fool of yourself. And CNN called for them to be revoked, and someone in the White House did. So CNN called for InfoWars to be revoked and for us to be banned off the Internet. But now they're going to sue the fascism of Trump after he manhandles this young woman because Jim Acosta, as he said, never touched her. And in fact, we have a video I played Friday a bunch that, that, that Reese also put together of Acosta saying over and over again, I never touched her. I never touched her. I never touched her. And then it's him touching her. It's him forcefully pushing her arm down, pulling away, and she looks to the Secret Service to help her. That happened. Everyone saw it. We didn't edit the video. We blew it up. We zoomed in. That's not doctoring to make it deceptive. Zooming in, magnifying glass, is to make it clearer. And I go, look, our audience knows this. I know our audience knows this. I know you know this. I know you know this. But what is CNN doing this for? And what did all the rest of the so-called media get in line, including the Dallas Morning News and the New York Times, and not show the video? Think about that. They don't show it and say, Jones put out doctored video, Infowars.com. They've called us Nazis. They've called us terrorists. Uh, they've called us all these names. None of it's true, folks. They're trying to destroy us because we're exposing them. Now, here, here's that piece I talked about with him saying that afternoon he never touched her, so we put the video out. Here it is. Going back and forth there, and as you can see in this video, uh, this intern came up to me. I, they're, they're describing her as an intern. I don't really know who she is, and attempted to take the microphone away from me. Uh, all I can say at that point is that I was trying to hang on to the microphone so I could continue to ask the president questions. Uh, obviously, I, you know, I didn't... Uh, put my hands on her or touch her as they're alleging. If I may okay, ask one enough. other question, Mr. President, if I, if I may ask one other question, are you worried? That's enough. That's Mr. enough. Mr. President, I, well, that's I was going to ask one of the, the other folks. That's had, enough. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm, I'm, so how does a liar work? Uh, obviously, I, you know, I didn't. They changed uh, the subject. Put my hands on her or touch her it as paused. they're alleging. L let's go to Paul Watson's response. Because it's Paul that blew the video up and put it out. And, and, then, and then the press secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, put it out. 
But again, you're like, this is petty. This is dumb. I agree. It's the top story in the country for days. It's all over everywhere. And it's Jones puts out a fake video changing the subject from Acosta lying and saying he didn't touch her and lying and saying we put out a fake video. Here's Paul Watts' report. CNN's Jim Acosta put his hands on a woman. The White House staffer was trying to do her job and retrieve the microphone after Acosta had gone on yet another anti-Trump rant. Acosta then used his left arm to push down on the woman and physically restrain her. This resulted in him getting his press access revoked. And who's to blame for all this? Me! Of course it's me! Question for press sec. Where do you obtain the distorted Acosta video you posted? InfoWars personality Prison Planet posted the same video two hours before you did. Surely you don't trust InfoWars! The White House is circulating a doctored InfoWars video. White House uses doctored video to justify stripping CNN reporter Jim Acosta's press credentials. Sarah Huckabee Sanders used doctor's InfoWars footage to justify Acosta ban. White House shares doctored video to support punishment of journalist Jim Acosta. White House press secretary shares fake InfoWars video to justify banning CNN reporter and this is all complete horse look at the comparison between the original video and the one I posted it isn't doctored it isn't sped up it isn't slowed down all I did was zoom in look at it again is this an example of someone doctoring a clip to change its meaning no it's virtually identical is it 100% identical no Video compression is going to result in it looking marginally different. But does it show Acosta putting his hands on a woman to restrain her as she tries to grab the microphone? Yes. Inventing a giant conspiracy theory isn't going to change that fact. As you can see from the original editing track in Sony Vegas Pro, none of the individual tracks are sped up. A track that is sped up would show wavy lines in the original track field, which it doesn't. Now I know how James O'Keefe feels every time he exposes the left. They accuse him of doctoring footage. No, doctoring means deliberate manipulation to change the meaning of the video. Zooming in isn't doctoring. Oh, but some frames might be missing. Wait, this is the same media that demonized Corey Lewandowski for assault based on a video which had just six frames. So I downloaded a GIF, exported it to an M2T file, converted it to an MP4, then re-uploaded it to Twitter. Is the compression going to look exactly the same? No, it's going to look marginally different. Does that mean the video was doctored? No, that's not doctoring. As this video analyst commented, any changes if they did make them would be incredibly minor and possibly due to working across frame rates and compressions. As Tim Pool tweeted, all of the outlets claiming the video was doctored or sped up didn't even bother fact checking. Two different analyses showed it was likely just compression issues as to why it didn't sync. This is why people don't trust the media. They all ran the story due to gossip, not facts. I mean, when even BuzzFeed writers semi come to my defense, you know the media's reaching. BuzzFeed, there's no evidence that the video was deliberately sped up. Thank you. Now will the hundreds of other media organizations that falsely claimed that issue retractions? Don't hold your breath. The original tweet circulating this fake news that I doctored the video combined have hundreds of thousands of retweets. The clarifications, the ones that debunked the whole thing, the number of retweets they got pales in comparison. The final irony is that while I'm constantly being accused of being a conspiracy theorist, despite loathing most conspiracy theories, the media invented a giant conspiracy theory to distract from a real controversy. They incited a Twitter witch hunt, which resulted in me receiving a bombardment of hate and violent threats. That's how the media rolls these days, and they wonder why people don't like them. Sarah Sanders was right. Jim Acosta put his hands on a woman. He used his strength to overpower her, and that's clearly seen in the video. Does that mean he assaulted her? No, it doesn't. But he clearly used his hand, his wrist, and his arm to push her away. Inventing baseless conspiracy theories about me doctoring the footage is just a convenient way to distract from Acosta's behavior. Don't take my word for it. Go and watch the footage yourself and come to your own. For TV viewers, I noticed the commenters are in here saying, wow, you're covering this while California burns. People are like, wow, yes, this hoax is almost as big as trying to see video on the InfoWars app while the show is live. Never happens. I love that part. I have to watch Alex on my Windows computer. I want to see the video. Well, you got a crappy-ass phone, bro.
simply, and it just goes on, but I was reading one of these like during the break, and I guess it refreshes a bunch of other comments here. And they were just saying like, wow, why are you covering them saying that Jim Acosta didn't manhandle the woman when California's burning? Because here's the deal. They're all over every channel in the country saying that we made up a video and Jim Acosta thinks you're so stupid. He goes on TV and says he didn't touch her. And if they can get away with that, what does it say about corporate media? What does it say about the mindset of these people? What does it say about anything and everything they'll do? What does it say? It tells you a lot that they are a pack of criminal liars, that he's on HD footage all over the country, pushing the woman's arm down, grabbing the mic away from her to ask his third question. He loses his credentials, and they say it's fake. He didn't touch her. Does it matter it was seen by hundreds of millions of people? Does it matter? They just say it, and then the entire, the Austin American Statesman, the Dallas Morning News, the San Antonio Express News, where I live, every paper covered, Jones caught faking video. It's not about me. But it'd be like if I went out and said, Jones was not wearing a blue jacket. He was wearing a red jacket. And everyone looks, and it's a navy blue jacket. You'd go, man, that guy's a liar, dude. He's wearing a blue jacket. He says it's red. It's blue. And that's the point I've gotten is, what are they doing? Who are these people? I know California's on fire. I meant to start the whole show with that today. But it's two plus two equals four. The ability to be free, as Winston Smith, the character in 1984 says, is to say two plus two equals four. And we've now reached the point where we didn't doctor any video. We didn't do anything. It was on dozens of camera angles. It cost a manhandling her, shoving her arm down, grabbing the mic away. And then they go on the news and they say, he didn't touch her. Jones is a fake and she and Sanders needs to be fired. The Dallas Morning News says Jones is a liar. Infowars is fake news. Acosta didn't touch her. And they don't even show the video to prove it. But it gets worse. CNN goes, here's the footage. Nothing happened. And Acosta says, see, didn't touch her. And it's the girl kneeling before she goes after the mic. And I'm like, dude, they're on TV lying now. It's like if I said to your TV viewer, this handkerchief is black. This handkerchief is white. And everybody's like, yeah, Alex, we, we, we get it's white. They say it's black. But, man, what's going on then? Because we've got mainstream media from ABC to CBS to, to all the comedy shows saying that he didn't touch her and we made it up even though it's the same video. So... What do we do about a group of criminals like this? What do we do about people that will lie like this? Well, what do we do? Now, I want to play Paul's new video from today. We have it, right? We have it. This is an incredible drum roll. I'm sorry. I told him to get Paul's video on this. And they got the one from the other day. It's my fault. I am the dread of this broadcast. But we now have it. Then I'm done. Next hour, the election fraud in Broward County, the latest on Russia news, uh, Google moving in. Uh, to the former Stasi headquarters. I'm, I'm not kidding. That's the secret police that oppressed the East Germans. That, that's where Google's now moving uh, for the very same behavior. So it's, 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 all, it's the same globalist. It's all coming up. Roger Stone's going to be on everything. But I want to play Paul's report because it's bigger than Jim Acosta. It's, bigger, it's the fact that they'll lie when all the footage is the same and go, look, their footage is different when our footage is the same in some weird mind control. Because in 1984, he tortures Winston and says, two plus two equals whatever I say until Winston sees whatever he wants. And this is like some new level to have the whole corporate media behind this saying we're fake and we're liars. And Trump said he ha hates all Mexicans. There's no video of it. It's just they're, they're horrible people. Here it is video clip. Sarah Sanders tweeted a doctored video. White House press office also put out a doctored version of the video. Doctored, 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 doctored. You are fake news. The taped video of, of uh, Costa? 
What are you talking about? Like, all that was, nobody manipulated it. Give me a break. See, that's just dishonest reporting. All that is is a close-up. See, that's just... That is just dishonest reporting. I watched that. I heard that last night. They made it close up. They showed it close up. When you say doctor, you're a dishonest guy because it wasn't doctored. They gave a close up view. That's not doctoring. Feels pretty good when the president of the United States has your back. Doctoring, the act of making different in order to deceive, tamper with, falsify, or adulterate. Converting and processing a video isn't tampering or falsifying. That's not doctoring. That's not doctoring. This is doctoring. They sped up Jim Acosta's hand movement to make it look more violent. Yeah, here's the screenshot from the edit in Sony Vegas. Proving it was not sped up. If it was sped up, there'd be wavy lines in the track. They're on. Because it wasn't sped up. And you see, like, they it sped up his hand. Yeah, I sped up his hand so much that literally two minutes before you said that, you played a clip where his hand moved even quicker. But I sped it up, okay. New York Times. The video was sped up. Buzzfeed. There's no evidence that the video was deliberately sped up. Give me a break. Is the comparison of the doctored video with the original. It looks virtually identical. Does anything here look like it was done to tamper, falsify, or adulterate? No, because it wasn't doctored. That's not doctoring. Elizabeth Loftus says the videos are, quote, totally different. Really? Watch the comparison again. Do these two videos look totally different to you? Or is Elizabeth Loftus... A liar. The part where he says, pardon me, ma'am, they cut the audio out. Yeah, there's no audio in the entire clip, Jimmy, because the original was a GIF image. And GIF images don't have audio because it's not a video file. It's an image file. That's not doctoring. Jim Acosta clearly never touched that White House intern. That's just a lie. Yes, he did touch her. It's right there on tape. The tape that you literally just played. You know, I didn't... Uh put my hands on her or touch her as they're alleging definition of touch come into or be in contact with did jim acosta touch her i didn't uh put my hands on her or touch her i didn't uh put my hands on her or touch her i didn't uh put my hands on her or touch her but people all right folks again if you're a radio listener anybody can go pull up acosta and the trump confrontation that got him suspended from the white house press corps and i agree it's stupid to have to be doing this but in Paul's report, we're going to play the rest of it when we come back. He says it over and over again, and we show different HD videos of him doing it. Anyone can go pull it up at ABC, CBS, NBC, and it shows him shoving her arm down and grabbing the mic. The same video we show, we just zoom in a little bit, which is totally normal. And now you're like, okay, we, we know, Alex, shut up. No! They're in every newspaper and every TV show saying it's totally fake. You didn't touch her. These people are dangerous. I mean, what the hell planet have we gotten on when it's clear he did all this? We didn't edit it. And they're on every damn channel, every comedy show saying it isn't. That's dangerous. How do they get all these people to lie like this? I mean, let me tell you something. When I say thousands of publications, I spot checked it, folks. There's tens of thousands with my name or Paul Watson's name and Jim Acosta and doctored video. And I went and looked at it. It's like every Texas paper. But they never show the video. They just go, Jones did a totally fake video. He shows the guy hitting her with a karate chop. Never happened. And they don't show the video. I mean, that means like these newspapers are, are the enemy of the American people. These TVs, I mean, they literally are criminals, folks. They have all of them on board now. I, this is like some magic line we passed because... Instead of just going, oh, CNN, they're known liars. Here's the rest of Paul's report. But people watching Wednesday night's edition of Anderson Cooper wouldn't know whether Acosta touched her or not because they didn't play the part where Acosta touched her. So I'm the one being accused of editing a video to mislead. Then CNN takes the very same video and edits out the part where he touches her. The only thing being doctored here is your narrative. Jim Acosta clearly never touched that White House intern. That's just a lie. That's just a lie. That's just a lie. That's just a lie. To discredit a reputable journalist, she's the White House press secretary. She should be fired for that. Yeah, you literally just lied to millions of people about the content of a videotape. That's just a lie. Now you're saying Sarah Sanders should be fired for lying about the content of a videotape, which she didn't. You should be fired. Remember, these are the same mouthpieces that spent weeks claiming Brett Kavanaugh assaulted a woman. 
woman. Yet when there's clear evidence of Jim Acosta at least accosting a woman, they all suddenly develop temporary blindness. Jim Acosta clearly never touched that White House intern. Goes, and hi <laughs> That is terrible. Yeah. Or it would be if it weren't fake news. The fact that the White House press secretary is promoting this doctored video is reprehensible. Yeah, it's so doctored, Stephen. You literally played the same clip two minutes before saying this. Again, it's not doctored. It lost a couple of frames after conversion and compression. That's not doctoring. That's not doctoring. It's zoomed in and slowed down. Every single one of your lamestream fucking media firms at some point or another has aired a story where they've done this. That is not doctoring. It's not misrepresenting the fundamental content of the video. It's simply focusing on the important element of that video and slowing it down so people can get a better idea of what happened. That's not film doctoring. Oh, and what's this? First, Vice reports that it's a doctored video. Then they talk to two separate forensic experts who say it's not doctored. Forensic expert, there is no evidence the White House video of Jim Acosta was doctored. Hani Farid, who studies digital forensics, human perception, and image analysis at the University of California, Berkeley, told Motherboard, which is Vice, that he does not think the video was doctored, though he agreed that the entire video was, of course, slowed down and zoomed in to focus on the moment of physical contact. He does not see any evidence to suggest that it was selectively edited to exaggerate Acosta's motion. Because again, it's not doctored. That's not doctoring. I can't speak to the origin of the video except to say, I know where it started. It started right in that room over there when everyone saw it. It doesn't matter who puts it up, who posts it. It doesn't matter the speed at which the video is seen. It doesn't matter the angle. The question is, at the core of this, and this is why Jim Acosta lost his uh, credential, did he touch her or not? The video is clear he did. He did. Donald Trump Jr. So are we just supposed to act like the media didn't completely make up and spread an insane conspiracy theory about the White House doctoring a tape? How's that disappear from the news so fast? We've truly entered some kind of delusional dystopia when to distract from Acosta's behavior, the media launches a giant hoax claiming one, that Acosta never touched her when he clearly did, and two, that a video which loses a couple of frames or has frames added because of compression, they can't even make their minds up which it is, means that it was a doctored video. That's not doctoring. It wasn't a doctored video. They call me a conspiracy theorist while themselves promulgating a monumental conspiracy theory. CNN, Washington Post, TechCrunch, Vox, New York Times, NBC, and hundreds of other publications, all breathlessly asserted, with zero fact-checking whatsoever, and none of them even reached out to me for comment, that I, the White House, or someone else had doctored a video that wasn't doctored just so they could portray Trump as deceitful and rash for suspending Acosta's press access. The only deceitful and rash parties in this entire situation were you. You literally claimed Acosta never touched her when it's right there on tape. Jim Acosta clearly never touched that White House intern. That's just a lie. That's just a lie. That's just a lie. That's just a lie. I didn't uh, put my hands on her or touch her. I didn't uh, put my hands on her or touch her. I didn't... Uh, put my hands on her or touch her why do you think your trust is plummeting why do you think people don't like you when this is what you're willing to stoop to time and time again the tape wasn't doctored the tape wasn't misleading i didn't manipulate it the only manipulation here was you lot lying to and manipulating your own audience but people government and the big global awakening to it and the populist movement and the writer done their research they were like pulling up quotes from like 15 years ago i envisioned 1776 worldwide the oppression of the globalists will then boomerang them back on them and there'll be huge populist movements that'll sweep from latin america to europe to asia you're like how did you know this i it's incredible and i'm like well now it's almost even worse because i know what's coming next after that And I've got an electronic straitjacket around me, and all I'm trying to do is warn people. I'm going to be honest, and I, this, 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 this whole thing with Jim Acosta, he's such a damn demon, man. If you try to chronicle all the lies of this guy and the fact that the White House even keeps him up there, it hurts me spiritually that every major paper in the country that I've double-checked and every major TV channel ran that we put out a hoax video and that Jim Acosta didn't touch that woman when it was on national television and our video is the same video and anybody can look at it. They'll show on national TV the same video side by side and go, look, it's doctored.
It's like going, look, this watch is stainless steel. And I'm like, well, yeah, it is. It's Yeah, it is. So Roger Stone's a smart guy, former chief advisor of the president, former head of the campaign, a lot more. And I want to get into really important issues that the elections they're stealing right now. People say, hey, California's on fire. Malibu's on fire. It's hell on earth. Yeah, I know. And then the president said what I said 10 years ago, what the experts said, cut down all the underbrush. But leftists have this weird rewilding thing for 30 years under UNESCO where they don't allow anybody to take trees that even fall down and cut them into wood because that's bad for the earth. So they don't cut fire breaks. And the president comes out and says, well, you should have cut fire breaks. And they have a few leftist firefighters go, we don't appreciate that. The media, firefighters hate Trump. The real firefighting associations have been begging to cut those damn fire breaks. But yeah, Jim Acosta manhandling the woman and then the media lying about it is not as important as Malibu and much of Southern California going up in a satanic, gooder Damarong, Armageddon. But, they made it the top story. And then I asked myself, what world have we reached, Roger Stone? And we'll do the election in the next two segments. What world have we reached, Roger Stone? Because this, this has actually gotten to me. Because I've seen a lot of lies in my years. But when something's on national TV and he manhandles her, and it's on all these channels, and they just go, oh, look, InfoWars tweeted it. So that makes all the video fake to make them them question what they all saw on thousands of channels and to have been chosen as the thing now that they say is fake to butcher the truth, it's a next level psyop. And again, I keep obsessing on this because it is important, Roger. This is two plus two equals four. We're going to get into the election, get into the fires. And I agree, the fires are more important. But what if I went on air and said the fires aren't real and then 10,000 newspapers and Stephen Colbert said they weren't? You, you'd feel a little crazy. You know, Jim Acosta pushed that woman's hand down and grabbed the mic away. I'm not saying even fire him or arrest him. But the point is, he did it. Just like you're wearing a black T-shirt, man. I mean, it, it's at a certain point. What are they trying here, Roger? Uh, look, I think it's very clear that the, uh, the staged and I think very juvenile and childish conduct of Acosta uh, in an attempt to draw attention to himself uh, was supposed to be the story of the day. I uh, was supposed to dominate the news media, and unfortunately, the, or I should say very fortunately and wisely, the president decided to change the leadership of his Justice Department and relieve Attorney General Sessions, stealing, I think, new hope for Trump supporters the world over and the reassertion of the president over control of his own Justice Department. Uh, and that took them by surprise. Uh, this video has not been altered. Let's put the word doctored away. It has not been altered or changed in any way other than to say it was slowed down so you could actually follow what was happening and it was brought closer in a Zoom. That is not under any sense of the word doctoring with the implication that what, what really happened, uh, a video, true video of that had been altered and that is false. And listen, I want to come back into the election and, and the election stealing, which is mainly going on. But, but right now, why would they try something this bold when clearly it's all over international news, he manhandles her. He says he didn't touch her. Well, and with all due respect, Alex, there are uh, there are stills missing from the Zapruder film. Uh, they uh, they have to uh, try, I think, to prevaricate right now because uh, uh, the uh, fact that the House Democrats are are soft peddling impeachment. They need an anti-Trump line other than vows of reopening the failed and discredited Russian collusion investigation. Uh, they are, this is a sideshow. It's meant to distract from the larger question of the massive fraud that's going on uh, in these elections. Uh, in 40 years in American politics, seeing some of the most brazen vote stealing tactics in Texas and Louisiana and, uh, and uh, certain precincts of uh, New Jersey where, where it, and certainly in Miami-Dade County, where it has been a way of life, uh, I have never seen anything as brazen, as outrageous, as one-sided as the process as it's gone on in Broward County. Roger, you know I love you. This is real radio. We don't censor stuff.
I've only had about four martinis. How many martinis have you had? I have had one martini, uh, and uh, it was not Russian vodka. I'm joking. I've had not, no martinis. Hey, seriously, have, seriously let's I get serious. Had I, I've had one, and I'm happy to have jumped on. You're a man that can't handle your liquor there, my son. <laughs> joking. No, I know you can't. I don't drink, actually. I'm a big AA supporter. Now, Roger, let's get serious. Let's shift gears out of this because I, I did get caught in this eddy pool of like the biggest story in the country for the last, last three days is the I edited video Paul Watson did when it's not true. I agree with you. It's distracting from the new acting attorney general. So let's give you the floor when we come back. How awesome is Mr. Whitaker? And then we'll shift gears then into admitted documentation. Even the Miami Herald says that they're stealing the election. They have fake ballots. They're running it all through with Roger Stone straight ahead. Now, don't forget his website, stonecoldtruth.com. Don't forget, I haven't plugged what is going on with the new uh, interim attorney general that has the Stephen Colbert's of the world uh, literally dumping every pound of excrement they've got immediately on the ground. Why are they so scared? What's coming next from your intel, Roger Stone? Well, I think they have taken a hard look uh, at uh, Acting Attorney General Whitaker, and they see a dedicated, true-believing conservative who also happens to be a very fine lawyer, who was chief of staff under uh, the uh, Attorney General Ashcroft, knows how the Justice Department works, served as a prosecuting U.S. Uh, attorney himself, has a, uh, a record of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, educational, conservative, nonprofit activity, uh, writing, thinking. He's entitled to an opinion. He's been critical of, of the Clintons. Uh, he said Hillary should Let's just say a he's a dyed-in-the-wool Americana guy they're scared of. Right. Now, he comes out of Iowa. He ran for public office there. He is very close to uh, to Donald Trump's uh, issue advisors, a solid guy named Sam Clovis. Clovis is like you and I, Alex, understands the globalist threat, and he understands what Trump is and what it isn't. Uh, and he is very close to Clovis. He is also very close to a former governor, Kerry Branstad, who I guarantee you is a blunt talking guy and the perfect person for the president to send to China. Terry doesn't take any crap. He was an excellent governor of Iowa. Uh, he made a phenomenal comeback after being out of office. Uh, his uh, sure. So design. Trump is now bringing in the Patriots, and that's scaring the system. Uh, well, I I'm going to so. announce this tomorrow, but I've got some big intel. I'm told that Whitaker is getting ready to implement the president's plan to go after big tech. They're going to be listening tonight, but I'm told the hammer is about to drop. Well, uh, from your mouth to God's ears, I remind people to go to our important effort, writetrump.com, uh, writetrump.com, for those of you on radio, writetrump.com, uh, where we are going to send letters from you to the president uh, at, uh, directing him to stop the antitrust and anti-competitive uh, manipulation of the internet that just cost us the last election. And let's be clear. Let's be clear. You can copy it and send it yourself, which we encourage you to do. I have my guarantee. I'm going to pay for the post. It's like 20 cents or something. I'm going to mail hard copy letters a million to the White House. And I think we're going to go over a million. It's already 100,000 or so signed up in just the last few days. And then we're going to hit Trump Tower with 100,000 or so. And maybe, you know, maybe Marlogo with 100,000. But the point is, and then we'll keep you updated on new developments, but this is what Trump really pays attention to. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, you want to go to writetrump.com, sign your name on the letter to the president that we'll mail to you. There could be a little personal thing you sent to him as well, uh, to the President Trump. President Trump must understand the importance of putting a stop to the mass leadership of conservatives by big tech and institute antitrust actions to end this racketeering collusion by big tech desperate to block america from coming back from the dead uh so that is what this is all about and we're doing it right now at righttrump.com
Uh, Alex, uh, you know my goal and yours would be to deliver a million letters. Look, the future of the country, the future of Trumpism, the Trump, uh, the continuation, first of all, the continuation of Trump himself in office, because they're, the Democrats are soft peddling impeachment, but don't you believe it? That is precisely their plan. They are al allied with special counsel Mueller in that. Uh, the future of the Trump reform agenda hangs in the balance. The future of the Trump legacy hangs in the balance. Trump's reelection hangs in the balance. The future of the of American exceptionalism and in American sovereignty hangs in the balance. We need a free, fair, robust, vibrant, completely accessible internet to compete in the war of ideas. Let's get into the recount going on. I mean, I can't even describe these articles I have. Mainstream News, Miami Herald says they have fake ballots they're running and weird 18-wheelers show up and Congressman Matt Gates says, hey, you're a day late and police like threaten to arrest him. This is, this is crazy. Well, I think well, let's start from the beginning. Three months ago, Alex, I urged Governor Rick Scott to, uh, to dismiss, to fire Brenda Snipes the head of the Board of Elections. Uh, in the 2000 Democratic primary between progressive Tim Canova and Deborah Wasserman Schultz, Canova was cheated blind by the board. His name did not appear on certain ballots. Certain ballots were destroyed and hidden. He never got an honest count. He went to court. The court ruled that she had violated state and federal law and demanded a recount only to learn that while the case was on trial, she destroyed all the ballots. In the recent congressional primary, she refuses to give totals for early voting, absentee voting, election day voting, only giving grand total. And, and when she's asked for the rest of the information, she basically says, kiss my... Uh, it, so the governor should have relieved her. Uh, and she, this isn't like playing poker with a woman with a long history of problems. And she's been holding back a total. The fact that she met one-on-one -on -one with Democrat gubernatorial candidate Andrew Gillum. And Gillum went out to reporters and withdrew his concession statement, tells me that the cake is baked. She refuses, despite a court order, uh, to tell the people and the public what the final totals are for Broward County and whether it is not enough to shift the margin in the three crucial races. Rick Scott, who was probably in the greatest danger, Ron DeSantis, who has a little larger lead. And of course, right now, the last time I looked, Democrat Nikki Freed, a medical marijuana advocate, was leading Matt Caldwell by 500 votes. Caldwell appeared here on InfoWars, a great Second Amendment advocate, uh, in what everybody billed as the you know, as the contest between two future stars. All right, Roger, stonecoldtruth.com. Thanks for coming in tonight uh, during all this and, and covering. Get back to your family in the barbecue. We really appreciate you. Tomorrow we'll have you back on uh, to get more into this situation as it unfolds in Florida. But I've got all the articles. The Miami Herald says they're counting fake ballots. Weird trucks are showing up a day late. Matt Gates shows up when they've got illegal trucks pulling up and says, what's going on? The cops threatened to arrest him. I mean, this is like a monkey, you know, what to a football. You're absolutely right, Alex. There's, I've never seen anything quite this dirty. 10, well, the Democrats, have, they're beyond taking the gloves off, man. They have gone total crazy town. We'll be back straight ahead. We're live, 528 Central Time. Broadcasting worldwide. Just Americana, we already exposed the globalists. We already exposed the eugenics. We already got Trump in there. We already got nationalists being elected everywhere. And it's almost like at that point, I'm just supposed to go away. I mean, I won't leave the whole crew and everybody high and dry, but maybe that is what's supposed to happen. Maybe I'm just supposed to sail off in the sunset. But see, I would have at this point, but Soros and others are suing me and harassing me and so i can't go away so i won't plus i wouldn't have to begin with but that's that that, that, that. here's the thing you you can't do a hundred lifetimes work and get what we've done and, I, and i'm not bragging about that i mean we've changed the world we've gone from no one knowing there's a private corporate world government 
to from Asia to Eastern Europe to Europe to the UK to the US to Brazil to all over people get that and look I'm not like mainstream media I don't sit there and tell you something positive going on it was not positive and it's positive for the general public for me you know it's it's still kind of positive but they're bearing down and then I look at the globalists they're so pathetic Here's an example. Macron was a sex slave in pedophilia for the French elites. I mean, that's actually admitted. At age 13, 14, he was passed around by men and women that had sex with him. Now, that itself is like such an insane story. You're just like, whoa. And then... He's constantly involved running down the president. And I don't have some gleeful Hollywood worship of the president because he's the president. I like Trump because he's trying to be a real human being and trying to do some good things. But President Trump goes to France for this World War I memorial. And Macron gets up and gives this big speech against nationalism and its dangers. And then the controlled corporate media goes, look, Trump's to blame for World War I. If there weren't nations, there wouldn't be wars. And then if you know the truth about it, it gets really frustrating at that point. It would take years to break down World War I, World War II. It would take years to break down the League of Nations and the UN and the Club of Rome and how the robber barons wanted to destroy the nation state so these big corporations would finance groups to kill each other and then try to give the nation states to give up their sovereignty and the vote and the investment the people had in the government, not that those governments were perfect, to this shadowy UN or League of Nations or IMF or World Bank or Trans-Pacific Partnership. I mean, who runs the EU? Macron says two weeks ago, we need an EU army, which they've already set up. I covered it 20 years ago. A decade ago, they admitted it. They say it's an EU army in their own documents to suppress nation states if the UK or Germany or Switzerland, who had never joined it, or France ever wants to get out. They say they're going to have a military that doesn't let you leave. And then when Italy a year ago, began to block the Zodiac boats coming out of North Africa into Italy, into Spain every day. The Italian military started grabbing them and taking them back to the UN bases in North Africa and saying, you're putting them in boats. You're sending them here to bankrupt us. And then you give them credit cards and political contacts so you're under their control. This is a UN political invasion. No, no, no. And their answer was, we're going to have an EU Navy stop your ships from stopping these people landing on your shore. So staring into camera two or one or whatever it is right there. Think about that. You have, no one even knows who the EU is. I do. It's in their founding records. And it's almost sick to even tell people because the public doesn't want to know. They don't want to know who's going to take your pension funds. You don't want to know who actually runs things. No, no, no. Netflix is on right now. Let's not know any of that. And that's what this comes down to. At the end of the day, in the final equation, people really don't want to be free. On average, they really don't want to know what's going on they think you're showing off if you know how stuff works. Here's the difference. Metaphysically, God is a Republican. You can get 95% of people wanting to be slaves, but if 5% want to be free, you don't have a right to make them slaves. You know, in a democracy, 
if 51% want to make the other 49% slaves, if if 51% wanted to barbecue the other 49% and put them on spits and eat their flesh in a pure democracy, that would be acceptable. And so there's this rape toy, Macron, from age 14, being raped by globalists in Paris at these rape parties. He admits that he's proud of it. And women having sex with him and men and all this stuff. And he's this perfect MK Ultra rape toy, like a dog toy. And here he is wearing his little red, white, and blue French thing. And he, he's up there and he goes, and he sits there. I am the pedophile rape toy. The Rothschild shoved me up their ass. And that's basically what he's saying in French. And he's sitting there and he's telling you, how dare you want country? Your country cause war, you bad. When the EU's unelected globalist and wants total war and is opening Europe up to Islamic invasion, and it's the nation state that stood against Hitler. It's the nation state that stood against the British Empire. The nation state is a people and an ethos and an idea. They don't want that. They want you to go, nation state bad, say butt plug of globalists. Get rid of it. I run over you. I, Macron. He's nice, huh? So that's how obnoxious this is. Like, what is this EU? What is this thing? Like, nations are bad? Like, are the French are bad? The Germans are bad? The, the, the Dutch are bad? The Irish are bad? The Brits are bad? The Mexicans are bad? The Japanese are bad? Well, what's the thing we then... The problem is the nation. You give the power to Soros to do it to your boot boot. He, Soros do it. Get rid of EU military run things. You no need nation. Me, Macron, we run it for you. And that's what this is. You're not going to make jokes all day long. The UN runs giant child kidnapping rings on record. And then we sit here and we hear like, Oh, it's bad to have a nation, Macron says, and the Democrats and CNN. Did you hear Trump say America's a country? God, next they'll say pigs are pink. And go, <laughs> I mean, that's how crazy this has gotten, is that they're assaulting reality. We pay taxes. It's our nation. We have a system. We're proud of it. We project our power globally. They go, no, no, no. You can't have a country. We got to come in and take this over right now. Well, who's taking it over? The IMF, the World Bank, the UN, the UN Human Rights Commission run by Saudi Arabia and China? It's like having Hitler run your local synagogue. It's ridiculous. And that's the thing that gets to me is it's gotten so ridiculous. Is that I thought more Americans would be awake. Yeah, you elected Trump, who's not out to get you. But through election fraud and everything else, we're barely hanging on to the Senate. They're trying to steal all these other races. And all Trump wants to do is try to secure the country. But it shows how a free society allows a lot of weak, stupid people to thrive who live off other hardworking people. Because, see, as a hardworking person, as a smart person, I don't look at a dumb person and think, oh, let me try to scam them. I just think, oh, that poor person got their IQ. They have trouble wiping their butt, but it's all right. They're just going kind of, but see, they breed and have kids, and they're Democrats, and then they look at me, and both my eyes point the right direction. They're like, kill, 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 like a zombie. And the globalists go, I told you, kill them. I told you, kill them. See, that's how the thing works. The globalists are always trying to get good people to join them to wipe the whatever you call it out. And so we've now really reached this point where I'm just sitting there going, man, I I just don't know what to do. I like, uh, it's it's very frustrating.
Here's an example. Germany collapses 1945. That's the end of World War II. Jim Acosta may say that World War II didn't happen, but, well, it, he says it actually it didn't happen. Okay, World War II didn't happen. World War II didn't happen. Jim Acosta, CNN said it didn't. But in a hypothetical world that I live in, World War II happened, and that kind of set the new future of the world from that point on. And Germany got divided in two, East and West Germany, and Berlin got divided in two. That was the demarcation line of the DMZ. And to the east was run by the Russians, and to the west was supposedly run by the Allies. Now, that's a fact. That happened. But Jim Acosta will say it didn't happen. And so then there's a new article out today from RT and Wired Magazine. They all wrote about it. Google, which is the modern Stasi spying on everything you do, they have moved or are about to move. They're, they're, they're in discussions to move. It's been offered to move into the former Stasi headquarters. Make police states hip again. Google offers Stasi HQ for new Berlin office. Google in the old Stasi building would say that that fits. And then it goes into how they're doing it. Here's another article right here. Ex-Stasi agent who also looks like Ronald McDonald, hired to censor xenophobic Facebook posts. Now, you know that Russia didn't come up with political correctness. New York City developed its leftist takeover plan, and it attacked Russia in 1917, and they stomped every Christian's brains out and kicked every Christian's guts out they could in Russia. And then they thought, oh, this is so cool. Let's reinvade the U.S. with our nomenclature and our culture. So when you sit here and you see Bozo the Clown, which we reported on four years ago, four years ago, they were hiring the Stasi to help report on people. And now they're officially looking to move in to the building. Isn't that cute? And my God, if you look like Bozo the Clown, you know, this woman showed up to arrest you for your speech. I'm sure you'd do it. I mean, it is the proper thing to do. But that's how pathetic we are. That we put up with stuff like this, and so we get what we deserve. Some fat, ugly, stupid, demonic cow is going to tell you what's... Go back to her. Look how beautiful she is. She's going to tell you what speech you've got, and so you're going to bow down to her all day long because she, she is God. She rules. Hell, her bowel movements are more important than your whole family. She's a big old dumbass control freak. And so let's bow to Google. Let's bow to her. Let's get serious. Tomorrow... I'm going to come back on air and I'm going to talk about the new deputy attorney general and the word we've got and what should be done against big tech that are the most horrible, America-hating, God-hating people you could ever imagine. And so we're going to talk about what should be done to these people and who they are because imagine they scour the earth for the worst secret police they can find. They find the most evil buildings where people are hung up by the hundreds of thousands by their legs and, and tortured and raped and that's where Google wants to be. Google's like a big demonic moth. And it's like, oh my God, that's a torture base? Could we move into a torture base? Because then then put you know then the head of Google, Sundar, if he could have a real torture base, if he could really, really like arrest people that don't agree with Google, that would be better. Because Google was always about being pure evil. Google says don't be evil, but their real credo was be as satanic and evil as you can be. And now they've reached this point like, oh my God, we're going to hang Christians up by their legs in front of their kids and slit their throats and drink their blood. Jesus Christ, he'll be able to fly in on a private jet and go to a facility in Germany where they're torturing people and he'll land. They have like 14 floors under that building and they're going to be down in there with 
children begging and, and Sundar is going to waddle in and Sundar is going to say, I'm finally going to be somebody. And he'll just have your kids in that pit. As they say, they're going to be arresting everybody. It's, it's going to be beautiful. So just remember, don't worry. By the way, you think that's a joke? He's already doing it in China. He already has committed the people's army to round up everyone. He's what the, it's so good. I kill everyone. I'm liberal. I'm brown, so it's okay. All right? Because ha, 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 ha. the West has decided it's evil. White is bad. So now China and the worst of India and the worst of everything is going to rule you and your family and it's going to have its way with you. They're going to take your pension funds. They're going to take your guns. They're going to take everything. And they're going to dance around giggling all day long. Well, it is so fun now. It was so easy. Thank you for your soul. Thank you for your blood. It is good now. Ah, it's so fun. Everyone is guilty. Everyone who has conscience is my food now. I have no conscience. I am Sundar. Sundar the demon. I am Google. Your blood is so good. We don't talk about Muslim terror rings or Muslim sex slaves. We promote Islam. I am Sundar. We will take out the Hindus too. When we are done, everyone will drink from the toilet water of Google. His real name is Toilet Water. So, we've had some fun tonight, haven't we? We really have. And so tomorrow, I'll be back. 11 a.m. Central. There'll be a more extreme, more radical show before mine in the morning, but we can't say the name of that. And then, after we return with that broadcast, we'll have the war room and more for you. So I want to thank the audience for tuning in tonight. And I want to thank you all for remembering that Sundar reads your email and runs your life, and he will bow to Sundar because he's superior. He is Sundar. He will do it for you. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yes. Your planet will serve us well. You have conscience. I don't. I eat you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Ha, ha, ha.